at the beginning of COVID, at the very beginning, you know, go back to Italy, people on the porches playing music to each other, Spain. It's so you fun. Know. Exactly. So, so the interviewer kind of brings that back up and he says, There's, there was this fantasy that people after, uh, uh, that people now with COVID will, will, will kind of, you know, start thinking about how they treat each other, how they treat nature, that maybe we can, you know, uh, shape our lives differently. And he says, as much as I love human beings and, and, uh, uh, and I do, uh, I don't think that people are, are going to change. Uh, it's going to be, we're going to suffer from this pandemic the, probably until 2024, but probably people are just going back, going to go back to their, turn back to their folly, so to speak. I'm all, I'm the most like hippie guy. I want to just like powwow, sit around, smoke the peace pipe and just like everybody sing Kumbaya until like, you know, until the rainbow comes down on our heads, you know, like that would be great. Just sit on the beach and just like love her. Okay. That's, you know, that's how I thought it was going to be. And then you like get into the world and you see, wait a minute, everyone is trying to like take your money or everyone's trying to like get over on you or everything is kind of a scam or the government is always doing. And then you realize, right. Oh, wait, I thought we could all just love each other. Like, <laughs> can't we just all love each other? I don't get it. No, the nature of humanity is that everybody wants to exploit the other. And even if we're being nice to the other one, we're being nice to the other one because we think we're going to get something out of it because it works for us. So, if we don't deal, if we don't start with the truth, and I know the truth is bitter, but if we don't start with, with where we really are and who we really are, we're not going to be able, it's like, it's like, oh, it comes to my very good story, which you didn't like at the beginning. If you don't know what the diagnosis is, you don't know what the medicine is. So Christaki says, I think that even though there are many evil people, we are a wondrous species. We're capable of love, we're capable of friendship, we're capable of sharing and mutual sacrifice. We have amazing qualities, we teach and we learn from each other, something that other species don't do. He says that as a, social, as a social scientist, right? Um, but I don't think we'll change all of a sudden. There's going to be some political, economic, geopolitical ramifications, but in the end, people are people for better or for worse. I agree with Christakis that there is this gravity-like nature in human beings that even if we suffer the most, you know, World War I, World War II, you know, so th the same, you know, COVID-1, COVID-2, COVID-3, whatever it is, that's not going to change human nature. But, but, does it do anything? Does it, what does it do? If, you know, nature, we just we just started the show saying that nature, nature is intelligent. There's intelligence in nature that has to do with evolution, with evolving to our next state. Then what what is the benefit of all these COVIDs? Okay, there's there is plenty of food on Earth. There's plenty of money on Earth. There's plenty of water. There's plenty of nice places to visit. There's plenty of everything. There's plenty of knowledge. There's plenty of shelters. There is everything we need. And yet almost every single person is miserable. And almost every single person feels empty inside. Yet everything we need is here. Okay. So, so I'll try to take that another step forward. So COVID is coming to help us see, help us see that our current way of life is not working. You know, Christakis says 2024, that the guy who may, came up with the vaccine says at least 10 years. He's just, he just, he just said it two days ago, you know, and that's the guy who came up with, with, with the vaccine. The, there is some sort of a uh, an assistance that we are receiving from COVID, from nature, but it's only to the extent only to to the extent that that it's only to help us reveal that there's what the problem is. The fixing of the problem 
nature cannot do for us. Right? Would you agree with that? Does that make sense? And the problem, the problem is nature is showing us that we are that we've created a way of life that uh, does not take into account us as a human family, us as connected beings, connected to each other, connected to the planet. We've created um, this way of life that only follows our built-in nature, our built-in egoistic drive. That is, at the end of the day, even though we're capable like Christakis said beautifully, and I agree with him, we're capable of, of practicing other, other things. We're capable of feeling each other. We are a special species. We are capable of feeling the other as ourselves. We're capable of being kind even to each other, of doing things in groups. We have this social nature, you know, but on the other hand, we also have this gravity-like ego that ultimately, at the moment, is driving the show. So, COVID can help us see that, but it cannot fix that. Nature is helping us see that we are uh, helpless when it comes to changing ourselves. And yet, it is the one thing we need to do in order to create a better world. And I think that statement from Christakis is very sober. There's something very, I like that. There's something very real and mature in that. So where's it supposed to come from then? Nature itself. That's the one thing that we are, are not, you know, are, haven't learned how to do yet. <laughs>